So welcome to In Focus. I, of course, am your host, Bad Derek. I wanted to start the show by mentioning something extraordinary that happened this week in the news, and I feel it would be a tragedy not to mention it. This week, former President Barack Obama came out and admitted, admitted on national television that UFOs are real. Is, is that uh, there are, uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. Uh, they, they did not have um, an easily explainable pattern. It's probably the biggest news in the history of mankind. And I think in many ways that people that have come out earlier in the past and admitted to having seen something, to admit it to having experienced something, in many cases losing their jobs, losing their positions, suffering real financial damage and social damage, losing their families. Those people are owed an apology and restitution. And at this point, anyone who believes that UFOs require belief or that it's open to debate, I'm going to label those people now as UFO deniers. I coined a phrase, UFO deniers. And with that, I'm going to speak quickly about a few other things that are important. One is the camera comparisons I recently did, which compared the red Komodo to the Sony A7S III. For those that are wondering, camera A was the Sony A7S III, and that may sound unusual, because the Sony A7S III, of course, is the low-light monster. In, in the performance, it did look very low-light monster. It, in fact, looked to be not that great in low-light, because it was noisy. Let me preface that by saying I did shoot it at 2000 ISO. I think in retrospect, if I'd bumped it up to 12,800, it would have kicked in the automatic um, gain bump. And also, it would have kicked in the additional noise reduction in camera, so it would have given the appearance of a clearer, clearer cleaner image. Um, that and the other thing I might have done was to shoot in S-Log3 as opposed to S-Log2. But given that the footage, the scenery, the, the setting didn't seem particularly low light to me, I chose to shoot in S-Log2. Now, granted, I shot the same way using the Red Komodo, and I was easily able in post to bump up the ISO to 12,000, excuse me, 1,280, and it still remained fairly clean and looked very good. So... Food for thought, yes, the Sony A7S III is still a low-light beast, but you may have to crank up the ISO to the second gain stage sooner than you would otherwise think. Other things in the news, Panasonic is announcing a GH5 II, and I believe that what this is is simply the fact that they ran out of components and therefore had to change the components, which warranted a model change. So from GH5, GH5 Mark II. There's also supposed to be a development announcement for the GH5, excuse me, the GH6. I don't know what it's going to bring. No idea. Everything is speculation, so I'm not going to go down that road, but I will be watching eagerly to see what the camera brings. And with that, I'll end this brief episode of In Focus. If you've commented before, you know that I love to respond to those. So please comment, like, and share. And I will see you next time.